Hello everyone, it's Wolverine and Who here. Welcome to the bonus episode of Sly 3 Online Thieves. So now it's that time again to showcase all the bonus newbies. And thankfully, Sanzu Games did not take any of the bonus newbies out from this game like they did with Sly 2. Seriously, why did they to do that? But yeah, I don't know why you don't have to wait until a simple appears. No, they're all here. We got now? So... I don't want to quite see it to unlock it. Oh yeah, I completely forgot like I did before. I forgot to show it to Gary for episode 6. But yeah, here's a Gary for episode 6. Nothing really different, just the same old, same old really. Oh, the money. The Cooper vehicles. Jeez. Huh. You got all own little symbols for them. That's pretty cool, actually. Hmm. Okay, that that one's that's pretty badass. That symbol, actually. Uh. Of course, you're there for yeah, all the ancestors, but hey, I know what the next game is, so. Huh. Oh my, there's a lab in the Koopa phone? Is that Koopa clones? Uh, oh, okay, thank god it didn't went that well, I guess. Yeah, here are these freaks of nature. Uh, I, uh, no idea what this is. So it's just got some random Koopa cars. Uh, Helicopter. Currently is Interpol Belt. Neat. And there's the only concert art for Dr. M. Looks bloody disgusting. Okay. Now it's time, time to show off all the bozos, thankfully. So. Yeah, we got a cartoon, another behind the scenes video, and something else that says Dimitri on it. Hmm. And of course there's credits you can play, but I'm not playing that again, so enjoy!
I guess we're here to talk about some of the earlier stuff uh, that was produced for Sly. Uh, I'm Dev Madan, art director at Sucker Punch. I'm Nate Fox, I'm one of the game designers. And what we're looking at here is a level that was produced um, but never made it into the game. Well, it made it into the game spiritually. Yes, spiritually. I mean, you can tell. It's, it's like a big, uh, impressive, kind of Riviera feel, high class, very yeah. Sly, Sly Cooper right. style. Yeah, just figuring out the evolution of the gameplay between Sly 1 and Sly 2. This was, what, six months we worked on this? Eight months? Yeah, a shamefully long amount of time. And it didn't even make it into the game. Yeah. But it was sort of the, uh, the, like the conceptual building block for how we were going to construct Sly 2, which was a big departure from Sly 1. I mean, Lovely. you can tell like, it's all non-linear in how you move through this space. Lovely. It's a pretty, pretty radical shift for us. I remember in this level, uh, we were going to have Bentley steal a giant yacht and smash it through all of these docks and eventually uh, bash it into that large uh, building, which was a casino, mm -hmm. so that the Cooper gang pulled off a pretty sweet heist. Those are the smartest guards ever. I know. But at least they stand at attention, you know. <laughs> Sly attacks them and they're, yeah. they're there. They're very present emotionally. I love this cop boat because it uh, features the fine Sucker Punch tradition of writing poor French on things. <laughs> and months. So we're now back at slide oh, one. Oh. Do you read me? Yeah, Bentley, I hear you. I've just identified a potential problem. See that filthy game? I love, there? you know, we, we, we kept the same Bentley the from you the very first just kind out. of voice uh, experiment. Okay. But that's slide. Oh, oh my gosh. My new climb move. Climb move. Oh, man. If you ever wanted to like punch a character in the face more, that would be it. Yeah, Bentley's a pretty interesting enough. guy, the voice of Bentley. Mm -hmm. He's a friend of the fellow in the office. He worked in a record store down the street yeah, from me. Yeah. It would be nice to go in and get a uh, recommendation on an album. And he ended up being the voice of Bentley. Yeah. Well, it'll give you record recommendations in the Bentley voice. <laughs> I think you want the one. <laughs> Two shelves down. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, look at oh, the dancing cash. Yeah. Oh. Nothing oh, says video about. game good times like <laughs> dancing, <laughs> cash. dancing inanimate. Uh, well, I guess it is animated if it's dancing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, even this music I remember. I can't listen to this CD anymore. So this is the same level we were just looking at, just in a obviously much more primitive form. Look at the animations. Too. Oh, yeah. Silas. So like he's got a problem. <laughs> yeah. What's his wow. deal? If you saw somebody in real life running like that, what would you assume would happen to them? Um, hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking burn victim. <laughs> Back injury? Fuse spine? <laughs> Fuse spine? Oh, yeah. So we didn't have the cell borders on slide. No. Sly's cane could transform into many unique devices, including this fabulous number, which would allow you to see an invisible maze. So amazing. So, we were so bad in the term to put this in the game. This level went through the entire development process. Everybody in the office touched it. That can just one. Yeah. It's funny that parts of this level actually did ship in Sly 1. Probably. Sly versus the huge pistons. Why is Sly always evading large machine parts? <laughs> if I ever get rich, I'm gonna hide all my money around <laughs> huge movie parts. <laughs> With open fire pits. Yeah, I love to fire right near my my folding paper cash. Oh, check out that dynamic move. Actually, it's interesting. This is a really, really old movie, but Sly's still doing those uh, cane swings up hooks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was that where you came up with the idea for the cane in the first place? No, it was, uh, it was more of a question mark. Because <laughs> he's a raccoon of mystery? mystery? Which is clearly evident in this video. <laughs> 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 I 
Who is that masked character yeah. swinging on the glowing The one thing that I kind of wish that we didn't get rid of was the original idea was that Sly's eyes should always be able to see them, even in the dark. So, like, we'll see here. And he turns around. <laughs> if he ever turns around again. Um, but how his eyes pop out. Yeah. Oh, remember that checkpoint with the Sly logo on it? We had a lot of arguments internally about whether or not there would be Sly iconography in the world that belongs oh, to the yeah, boss. Oh, yeah, 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 totally. It would feel more like stealing if you didn't run across stuff that uh, belonged, that belonged to, you. to you. Yeah. Um, he's finally made, he's made it in. I like that most of our conversations internally are about what would make it feel more like thieving or being a thief. Uh, at this point, I think we're pretty aware of what it takes to be a thief, and if we lose our jobs... <laughs> we can, we, we got another line of work. Yeah, we've got it. <laughs> our second career is all lined up. <laughs> oh, the freeze oh, fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, it made sense that we wanted to slide the freeze thing. We'll be recognized. Yeah, well, we gotta know, right? Yeah. Like, uh, players oh, well, will not know that they can freeze, freeze. water, so, so they should something need like something fish. iconic. Yeah. yeah. Who doesn't want to freeze a fish? <laughs> oh, the crab takes it again. <laughs> and this is... I like that we made the NPC orange, so that you can't tell from where he is on the floor. Oh, right. So the orange NPC on an orange, an orange platform. That's part of his cunning camouflage ploy. Totally. If anyone asks, it was completely to make the NPC look extra smart. <laughs> Money popping up out of holes. <laughs> so interesting seeing the, the character without his cell phone. I really like that old thing where the money would fly, fly? like butterflies yeah. into your pack. Yeah. It's pretty, you know, uh, sort of pretty. surreal. Yeah. But uh, it's the wording. Yeah. Didn't we have problems using uh, green money because it wouldn't Local localize into yeah. different countries? And uh, it really illustrates a, a problem globally that we have different colored money. The video game industry would really benefit from one colored. Oh, the underwater approach. approach yeah. You'll notice that's the same fish that was the freeze fish. <laughs> Just kept to <laughs> using it. <laughs> Flat. Oh yeah, you can change the wings yeah. on the underwater Road vehicle to go through different openings in the cave. Yeah, if I remember correctly, Raleigh's level was supposed to entirely be underwater. Yeah, yeah. That was gonna be our first level of the game, yeah. underwater, because it was gonna be easier to do it that <laughs> way. Oh man. Oh. Very intense. Uh, this, this is amazing. This old sly. Good. Was this PC? I don't know. You know, frankly, like I've blocked this slide out of my memory. <laughs> as far as as far as I'm concerned, the slide we know today kind of sprang up, fully formed. He's like got boxing gloves on and mm -hmm. big clown shoes. Clown feet. Yep. Oh, but check it out. He's a he's a dynamo in action. <laughs> Wow, puts that up head. Stairs, oh yeah. Video oh. games are all about like fantasy fulfillment, yeah. and here we're fulfilling the fantasy <laughs> of ascending stairs. a blue staircase. <laughs> <laughs> but watch out kids, there's lava up ahead. <laughs> yeah, I, I never really noticed, but Sly's in a lot of caves in these demos. <laughs> Uh, there's all those stretch textures and... Careful. Careful, Sly. Yeah. Careful, Sly. Don't trust ambiguously oh. shaped objects. <laughs> <laughs> Dev, I don't know if you know it, but uh, orange means yeah. lava. Lava. Totally. Lava is bad for video game characters. In a video game character? In a video yeah. game? Lava. It is. At least in most video games, that's the case. However, in our game, we uh, decided that it didn't hurt <laughs> Sly at all. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, so he, he could run in lava. Yeah. Whereas the modern Sly, he can't swim. Totally, totally. But he can run in lava. It's the clown shoes. <laughs> Completely. Totally. 
He used to be a lot tougher. Yeah. Is what did. this video tells me. Ooh. Yeah, it's an impressionistic painting. <laughs> it's a Dutch masterpiece. Ooh. I kind of miss the Sucker Punch era of rolling lava rocks. <laughs> I feel like that was a real staple for us. Yeah. Not too thiefy, though. Not too thiefy, no. Oh, the big guy, the original, the pretender. <laughs> Check out that I was, mean I, I had nothing to say about that. That was, that was cool. You did the mocap for that run, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, here he is in his most modern form. <clears throat> Whereas I, I did the mocap for this sequence. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that looks better than the original slide I model we just looked at. Yeah. I kind of missed the purse, though. Really? No, not really. Hey, still doing the hook swing. Mm -hmm. Same as way back when. Still got the giant machine parts. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in caves. <laughs> yeah, in caves. There's a lot more catapults in the new game, though, yeah. than in past games. That's because those environments were so big. That's true. Environments have gotten big. Just like Monaco, really. Yeah, like, that was yeah. a big departure, and mm -hmm. it really is what we're doing these days. Like, this street here is just like that one yep. in Monaco. Yep, yep. This would significantly more gunplay. That's interesting to look at the uh, computer monitor section of that gameplay. Is the how much more abstract everything's gotten from those original kind of very linear level design. I mean, we clearly wouldn't have even thought about multiplayer. Venice is the same kind of romantic getaway Monaco was. Monaco, yeah. Of course, uh, multiplayer, it's not so romantic. No. Well, that's... That's that. That's that. That was really painful. Show your bling and let me shine you.